BTC Creo Parametric 3.0, Lesson 16, Part 1. In this lesson, we're going to cover how to use the helical, the helical sweep command. We're going to make a compression and an extension spring. And we're going to put on some annotation features. So I'm going to roll back this particular model. And we'll start here just with the datum planes. I can also shut off the annotation features so we don't have to look at those. We're going to actually sketch on B datum, which would normally be the front. So model tab, sweep, helical sweep, and I'm going to open up the references here just to show what we're doing. So we're going to define the same thing as define with the right mouse button. And we're going to select datum B or the front. Let's go into sketch view and right mouse button axis of revolution. And line. I'm going to start down here, like so. It's going to give me three dimensions. I actually need. The height dimension, more important, that's the effective length. Like so. And as far as the dimensions go, we're going to use 360 and 240 and 180. Take it. All right. And you can move your dimensions off if you want. So it's a fairly simple section. Make sure you have your arrow pointing in the proper direction. It's going to create the helix here. So let's go into our standard orientation and finish the sketch. And here, you can see we got the axis of revolution. You can create or select that at this point also. Edit internal helix spoon. We have helix cross section. So we can click here, or we can go up here to the dashboard, or I should say the ribbon. Let's go into our sketch view. And basically where these two references meet is where you're going to be doing your sketch, right in here. So in here. Now, I mean, you, you can, in reality, at any point, you can use your circle command. And basically, you're just creating a small circle here. I think it's 15. This is millimeters. I should have uh, mentioned that at the very beginning. You have to go and start your project. Uh, make sure you've gone and you've selected your uh, proper information when you prepare. I can't do it at this particular point because I'm in the middle of this. So these are millimeters. You can always change it later or set it up at the beginning. And we have our helix. Finish that off. Let's go into standard orientation. And now we want to create some ground ends. In other words, we want to flatten the ends on both sides. So extrude, <clears throat> remove material. I'm going to select C datum. Go into sketch view. And it doesn't make any difference how the model is turned. We're going to be doing the work on this side in the very beginning. And we'll use the existing references. So we're going to lock it into this reference and then go up. You can actually write a relationship to make sure that this cut always is outside of the 
largest part of the helix. So let's take a look at what that is here. It's just a single line, nothing more. And click OK. And of course, that's going in the wrong direction. So flip your arrow. And it's just going to grind the ends flat. Nothing more. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing again. And we will use previous. And in this case here, we're going to be on this side with our cut. So line. Doesn't make any difference where you put this line, by the way. You're going to control it with. this dimension. And as I recall, it's 240, but let's ch check it. Yes, it's 240. Again, let's turn it. OK. Obviously going the wrong direction. And you want it to go all the way out, obviously. So again, you can make a dimensional relation between this and the diameter, the largest, uh, the pitch diameter. Make sure it always passes through there and cuts it evenly. Check. And go into standard orientation. And you have your model complete. Next, we will actually go in and make an ECO on this and add a, or create a different version of it, let's say.